Hi everyone, welcome back to part 2 of the NVIDIA Shield review. So this is Sam. And this is Arrow from Towing Podcast. Right, so in this part of the video, we will be showing you the operating system of the Shield. And um, as you can see here, this is running Android operating system. In fact, the version is uh, 4.2.1. You can see it from here. So it is Jelly Bean. And now you've got your little um, Easter egg here. You've also got the um, typical Android home screen. Yeah. And the widget feature yes. for Jelly Bean. Right. And uh, you can have access to your app drawer, your, all your widgets, uh, widgets from here. So it's just like any other Android devices. And uh, you've got your quick toggles from here as well. You can have a uh, quick setting uh, of Wi-Fi and uh, battery meter and also Bluetooth and so on. So it's very uh, typical Android. Uh, one more thing it is very special for this device is that it's got the virtual mouse. If you enable it, you can use the right thumbstick to act as a mouse. So it will help you to do things a little bit better for some situation. But uh, normally, I don't think you you need it. And so um, you can switch off that first. Sure, <laughs> just just let it be here. And um, since it is Android, it uh, it is compatible with uh, a lot of Android uh, applications, unless uh, those. Uh, only support uh, portrait uh, orientation, but uh, most of them do support uh, landscape as well, yeah. just like uh, Quadrant. So it is a um, very popular benchmark software to see the performance of the device. Let's just run it very quickly. So from sometimes it will switch to a portrait mode, but you, you, have to, you can, can do nothing. Right. <laughs> there is no way you can change it to uh, landscape. But at least the, the application does run. Yeah. Because um, I've heard from some users complaining that uh, the, the application which he or she normally use does not even... Uh, Compatible. Right, right, right. Running. He, he even can't uh, install it on the device. So, But anyway, I think you can still bypass it by... Uh, by uh, actually in installing the APK itself. So it's not that huge of a problem. So we've got the results. Let's look at the score. So we've got a score of 18,000. So it is uh, almost four times of the score of the HTC One. So you can see the, how powerful it is, the device, uh, how powerful this device is when comparing to uh, the flagship device of uh, last year, HTC One, so it's, it is much more powerful. And uh, if you look at CPU Z, uh, it's showing you that it is running. Uh, even though it is saying the Tegra Two, we know that it is in <laughs> fact Tegra Four. It's far from Tegra Two. Right, and uh, it is running at 1.9 gigahertz, and there is a total of four cores. So uh, since it is not doing any heavy tasks at the moment, so it is only opening one of them. And uh, as we said earlier, there is a two gigabyte of RAM, so we can see it from here. It's got, uh, we don't have a battery uh, yeah. uh, size here, but uh, it's got a huge battery. Uh, at least you can have uh, eight hours of uh, gaming. Or, yeah, or movie movie playing, yeah. yeah. So, and uh, what else? Six. Actually, we have um, installed some other typical Android applications like uh, the ES File Explorer to uh, manage the file. So it's also compatible with it. And uh, I just want to demo the um, the music app real quick because um, I want to show you the speaker. It's a very powerful, very nice speaker here. Let's play a song. So, 
I'm not even uh, turning the volume to, to full. It's already very loud. Alright, so it, uh, it will do a very good job when you use it as a music jukebox. How about being a video player? Yeah, it's it's very nice as well since it's got a five inch uh, 720p screen, so um, the colors are very uh, very uh, very sharp and also it's very smooth and when playing video. Even skip it. So this is the demo video that is um, come bundled with the device. And uh, other than this, it you've got um, all other uh, Google apps that you you can that you typically find on other Android devices like uh, Play Store. In the Play Store. Right. And also the, um, the Gmail application, the YouTube app, and also uh, a browser, browser as well. Let's take a look at the browser. This is, I, I don't think this is Chrome, but... Uh, this is not Chrome. This is not Chrome, but... Uh, but you a, still can download and install Chrome. Right, that's the beauty of Android. <laughs> and uh, pinch and zoom, very smooth, right? And... Um, yeah, how about typing? Actually, typing. well, uh, honestly, it's feel it's feeling a bit awkward typing like, like this because when you're typing, the device do move a lot, so you have to be very careful. And you have to maybe holding the device with the other hand. Yeah, that would be much better. Yeah, just like this. So. Um, Pinch to zoom, no problem. And uh, just like other Android devices, you can customize the customize the, the keyboard by installing uh, other keyboards from the Play Store. And uh, um, this is the home button that we we've talked about earlier. Yeah. And if you hold it for a few seconds, it will be um, it will bring you to the multitask uh, menu, so you can. Uh, just swipe out the apps you don't want, or just go to the application, the open One applications. Yeah. Right. So, uh, in terms of software, that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else you would like to talk about on the software, or, or basically on the OS side? Maybe not, because it's really a very typical one for the Android device. Right, if you know Android, other than, you can Other than this. sometimes for the vertical portraits, <laughs> feed, it didn't really manage so well here. But up to now, we don't have a good solution to that. Maybe for next, next firmware from the NVIDIA, they can fix some of these problems. Yeah, they need to work on the that. incompatible applications. Right. Until then, we what we can do is just that we download the APK from somewhere else and then uh -huh. install it. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, maybe uh, we wrap up here. I'll see you in next part. Okay.